Hi guys, it's Rashmi. So today I'm going to talk about how this Varsity Blues incident is such an ethical lapse in so many different ways, both from the families to, of course, the individual who was instigating and, and negotiating all of this unethical behavior, but also at the university level, there were many things that the universities could have done to create a culture of ethics and compliance, to promote it. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things that universities could be doing to promote a culture of ethics and courage. The leaders of an organization, of a university, any academic institution, should be committed at the very basic level to knowing their own values, aligning those values with their own actions, behavior, and decisions, and then making sure that those values are infused into the culture of the university. A leader has to be bold and have actionable values and make sure that those values are being aligned with the culture of, in the workspace that, that anybody's in. The other thing the university should be doing and can be doing is to appoint a chief compliance officer that reports directly to the board of directors or to the board or to the board of trustees in this case for a university. There, should, there can be ongoing training and onboarding. So when employees, faculty, administration is brought into a university, in addition to, of course, ongoing training on ethics and compliance, in the onboarding process itself, if the culture of the university and academic institution is rooted in ethics, then that will come out in the application and in the interview process, and it'll be part of the selection process so that an individual has to be committed to ethics to, to even be considered to be hired. And that would come out in the line of questioning, in, in, the, in the references and the things that, that are requested of a potential hire. The next thing is, of course, create training and opportunities for classes within the university atmosphere. It can be in the business school, in the law school, in, the, in any type of environment where there is an ethics conversation. Because really, you know, my tale along with many others is a cautionary tale, but it, it's, it's about exposing ourselves to the risks of bad decisions, right? And any student or faculty or administration that can hear a cautionary tale uh, can learn from that. Uh, what are the blind spots? And until you hear and can apply uh, sort of the behavioral ethics research academic side to a real life story, sometimes it's hard to understand. So provide these ethics courses, bring in speakers and, and, and consultants and people that are able to share their stories and apply real life lessons so that people can, can learn from it. Uh, create some sort of ethical mentoring buddy system so that faculty administrators feel like they have a place to go to confidentially, anonymously, to have those courageous conversations. Because it is hard, right? Creating a culture of courage and ethics takes a long-term commitment, is constantly evolving, it's changing, it's an ongoing, ever recalibrating process. Because it's not a one-time thing. Just like anything else in our lives, as we evolve, so does our cultures, and we have to make sure it's aligned with our values, and then move forward from that. So, you know, I think this Varsity Blues incident has really caused pause for many people to consider what's been going on uh, really globally with the, uh, the notion of what's right and wrong. And there's this line that keeps getting pushed from the gray into what's really wrong. Uh, I think if we pull ourselves back, students are going to college, right? They're at that very pivotal point in their lives to learn, to grow so that they can launch themselves into some professional you know, or any type of career. And at the very core, if a university is not committed uh, to creating you know, a culture of ethics, it translates to how the students are seeing it. So what I implore universities and academic institutions to do is commit to shifting the paradigm of your culture to create a culture that's committed to ethics and courage and compliance and long-term sustainability and growth, the very organic way, which starts with knowing your values and going from there. Thank you so much.